another edition of Boxing For Real. I'm your host, Don Omega. I am Truth with me. Let's go. We're doing another mailbag. Right. Okay, let's start with this question. Yeah. First question comes from Rican King. He asks, who do you like in a Prime Tyson versus Prime Bow, uh, Prime versus Prime Riddick Bow matchup? Um, of course, I like Mike Tyson against any heavyweight in history at his prime. Um, Bo, Bo threw wild shots a lot, um, and he was taller. Than, well, of course he was taller. Tyson's opponents were always taller, usually. Tyson has the perfect style for Bo to absolutely murder him in the ring. Um, he would just come in, do his dodging and weaving, uh, his U-shaped defense, you know, and Bo would not do anything to Tyson, and Tyson would knock him out cold within the middle rounds or sooner, I think, so... Tyson. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tyson versus Hollyfield in 91 when it was scheduled. Tyson again, um, he did have the Douglas loss, but he was coming back strong. He had two wins over Razor Ruddock. And the, the also, Hollyfield was a lot newer to the heavyweight, heavyweight division, division at this yeah. time. He was not fully developed, and Tyson and would have, yeah, I mean, Tyson would have killed him in there in 91, definitely. Yep. So that's those questions. He got a good break there. Yeah. And but anyhow. So then you know what happened and why the fight didn't happen, unfortunately. So. Anyhow, thank you, Rick and Keen. Yep. So and here's another fantasy fight question uh, from Tom. This is a good one. Yep. From Tom Kazansky, who would win, Pretty Boy Floyd or Prime Sugar Ray Leonard? So you can start off with that one. Good question. Yeah. One thing you might want to ask: what weight class? Yeah, um, that's we're we're going to assume for our purposes welterweight. Yeah, since that's where Leonard started. And yeah. prime, yeah. Um, I'd go with Mayweather. Overall, I'd go yeah. with Mayweather. Maybe I'm biased because I'm more living in the Mayweather era. Yeah. Maybe if I were living in the. Sh um, Sugar Ray Leonard era, I'm sure I would have been saying Ray Leonard can't be beat. The, yeah, the one thing about Leonard, he had very good one-punch power. It doesn't, you wouldn't think it, but I mean, a lot of those fights, he just knocked guys, I mean, he knocked them cold at welterweight, and really all the way up to light heavyweight, where he fought eventually. I mean, he carried that power with him. He had unbelievable power, and of course, speed and skills and everything. Mayweather, um, I would pick him probably to win by decision, but uh, I don't know. Leonard was quite a was quite a fighter, and I wouldn't be surprised if he would be able to beat Mayweather. That's a pick and fight. I like would we said, go a little towards Mayweather. Though, I, I, I can definitely entertain any argument yeah. anyone wants to say that Leonard would win that. Yeah, uh, it's definitely possible. I mean, absolutely. Leonard's an all-time great. Definitely. Mayweather's an all-time great. Yeah. Usually any two all-time greats get together, um, either guy could win. It's not impossible yeah. for either guy to win, to win or lose, to lose. Especially two guys that and skilled. And it could even end up a draw. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. It would be quite a fight. Yeah. And, uh, and Yeah, I'd lean toward Mayweather, though. I just, just think his defense would... Be enough to carry him through, and his accuracy too was a little is a little better, I think. Yeah. Thank but you again, Tom Tazansky. So next question comes from uh, Steve Carmel in Indiana. He writes, "Hey guys, love the show. Glad to see a show like this for hardcore boxing fans. Anyways, could you guys list some of the top PQ squared guys out there today? Uh, that means pussy, quitter, queer. Apparently, okay." Also, who do, and he writes this also, also, who do you guys feel are some of the worst referees and judges out there? Uh, what would you rather see? Jermaine Fraud Taylor getting knocked the fuck out or getting, or getting robbed and having him say, what the fuck, I won? I would definitely rather him see... No, what the fuck, I won. What the fuck, I won. Yeah, and I would definitely rather see him get knocked the fuck out than that. I think he's... Got three gift decisions in a row, as you know, of course. I don't. Yeah, I do. I don't. Definitely. And, um. He's no fraud, pal. That's the end. I won't call him a fraud. He's a good fighter, but, um, I'm getting sick of the bad decisions. He should change his nickname. What from, bad decisions? From bad intentions. He won all those. No, okay, he didn't. He didn't win one of the high. 
Microsoft and Spikes, but anyhow, he, he, yeah. But, uh, he, he is in all these fights with some questionable decisions, which is strange to be in three in a row, three regardless of your opinion on that. Yeah. It is quite strange and unusual, but, hey, when you're as good as Jermaine Taylor, or me, things happen. Yeah. People um, hate. Well, I don't know. I'm going up. Anyway, uh, who are some of the top uh, pussy, quitters, queers? Diego Corrales comes to mind right away. Pulled out against Castillo because of a weight issue. That's what he claimed. I mean, you his, know. Ca his Casamayor refusal to yeah. get a rematch up until recently. Yeah, he has signed for the third match, he's, thankfully. He's signed, signed. that's what he's that's done signed. so far. He's still got to get in the ring. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Asselino Freitas comes to mind, of course. He quit against Corrales, and he refuses to give Casamayo a rematch also. Costa Zou, who quit against Hatton. Although has a good Judah. fighter, we're not yep. saying he's not a good fighter. Yep, has ducked Judah for over, coming up on five years now, uh, in November of this year. Refused to give him a rematch. Pulled out twice against Mitchell before he finally gave him a rematch. Um, pulled out once again, twice against Judah before he finally fought him. So he doesn't have a lot of heart. Camacho Jr., of course, is a uh, is a quitter. Obviously, he quit against Leha, got knocked out in his last fight, and um, uh, Margarito also. A lot of people say he's the most feared guy in the welterweight division. Docking a lot of people. Yeah, we did a list. Yeah. We did a list of eleven people currently. Absolutely. That have publicly and uh, said they want to fight him? Of course, also Vladimir Klitschko comes to mind. As far as that, he doesn't want to fight anybody. Vitaly Klitschko, oh, he, he ran out of boxing. Yeah. He quit boxing. He quit the sport of boxing because he didn't want to fight Hasim Rahman. Who just got knocked out by Maskaev. Which so. he didn't know that, but no. um, 